there were people who made me as an example uh, people who who said that look at Uzozi Uzozi has no skeletons in her closet um, you know that she should be the standard that all these young women should look up to and when I saw that it, it it hit me you know I was taken aback because when I read those things I was like surely you know I'm I'm, I'm human I'm there must have been some mistakes you know um, that I've made I can't really be as as perfect as I'm made out to be um, and that scared me that scared me to you know think that that's the standard that people hold me up to and that is very understandable that it is that way because of the position that I hold in society and so you know because of that conversation I took it upon myself to actually go into my Facebook and go back 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 to when I um, first created that account I think in 2012 to see you know what I posted during that time I think as many of us probably did after the whole um, tweet thing resurfaced so I went in to check and you know I, I saw a lot of things that I was proud of a lot of things that you know I, I had said about myself about others um, things that ring true to who I am and then I then saw other tweets that I'm not so proud of. Um, I saw tweets that I, um, posts, I mean, posts that I had shared on, on Facebook that were very insensitive, uh, posts that I, I should have never shared or, or, or posted. And I was just so disappointed with myself and um, just filled with with shame that I, I would have thought it was okay to share that you know at that time and and so I want to take that time to uh, apologize for those posts that I shared um, to apologize to to anyone that that is was affected um, by those posts and just to say that those, those posts are in direct contrast to to who I am and everything that I stand for um, and I for the for the past nine months as a public figure I have made my voice very clear um, about the things that I stand for and the things that I feel are important in telling women to take up space, you know, to be empowered, to empower themselves and, and to use their voices not only for the betterment of themselves but for the betterment of others. Um, and these words still ring true today to who I am and so because of that I felt it only right to come um, make this video and to face this head-on with um, with you guys um, and I, I realize you know we we live in in a society that is so desensitized when it comes to social issues we live in a world where we have created spaces um, that make people comfortable to act a certain way, to be a certain way, and, and to say certain things. Um, and it, it's, it's, it's not okay. That's not, a, that's not the right space to exist in. We need to be existing in a world where we start making people uncomfortable for for sharing such thoughts, for thinking such things, and for thinking it's okay um, to say them. I hope that we can continue, you know, building that kind of world and just take responsibility as, as well for the things that we say and for the things that we do. 
and just that we should be careful of the things that we share even if we think it's it's an offhand you know joke because it's it's you know some things just aren't funny and and, and shouldn't be said so I'm, I'm really hoping that we can be very mindful of the things that we say and the things that we share and the ripple effects that they might have um on the world and on others and i hope that we can continue to act responsibly in being solutions and not the problem and so yeah once again i just want to apologize from the bottom of my heart and to everyone who had put me at a certain standard i am so sorry to have disappointed i i hope that you can continue um to look at me as somebody you can still take something from somebody you can still learn from and um yeah really i really really am sorry <laughs>